Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of FTV Skies Let's Play series. Uh, I have built this. Uh, a, a big crafter, mechanical crafter from Create. Uh, I had to play with it a little bit to make sure that I wasn't overstressing my system. Uh, so far I've just had to like take out uh, the mixer and the presser, but that's not really something I need right now we are going to work on the alternator so that is a compactor a com capacitor iron plates iron rods and the copper spool and the andesite alloy which i picked up a piece of zinc i actually need andesite alloy still struggling with power but we are we're, we're working on it, which is why we're trying to do the alternator to see if I can maybe do something with that. So this I know all needs to be like crafted and turned all of these in a certain way. And I think uh, it needs somewhere for like an output. So I am gonna break that button, which I think I like actually, no, okay, you can pick up buttons. So I need like a chest or something. I'm just gonna do that for now because I know that this needs like an output area otherwise it's just gonna throw the items on the ground but I can't remember how all of these need to be turned is there a way to like ponder them so the mechanical crafter used to automate crafting recipes I can use the wrench to turn them So they all need to be facing. For a valid setup, all paths have to converge into one exit at any side. Okay. So. I'm pretty sure they all do. So what's the arrangement for this? So it's iron, capacitor, iron. So iron. I went ahead and made all the components off camera. Just to make this easier. And then iron spool rod spool iron so iron spool rod spool iron and then iron spool iron and then andesite alloy at the top and then like i said i think i need to give it a redstone signal to get started gonna be super slow all right so it's slow but it all looks like it's heading in the right direction and do we have an alternator we do Awesome. And that should be output into this chest. Sweet. So that gets us something. So with that, I get flux ducts and a rotational speed controller. All right. So with the alternator, I probably just need to plop it down somewhere that it's going to get energy. And that once again overstressed the system, but that's fine. We will disconnect that for now. And then once I can get that working on its own again. So I also know that I got that rotational speed controller, which I think actually does a really good thing for us. So let me come out of here and we'll take a look at this. So speed controller, rotation speed controllers, relay rotation on their axis. All right, panel on the side. So I can increase this speed by increasing this speed. So 
So let me pop that back out. Let me take a look at this and see what we can do with this. So the alternator requires at least 32 RPM, generates So I had that right. So I just need, I'll probably just take these. And I'm gonna take that. And we may be able to hook up another steam engine here. And I'm gonna expand this platform out. So my wand and some more cobblestone. Probably a stack will be okay. And then we'll take this and we'll expand out a ways just to give us a bit more room. We will attach a drive here, drive here, drive here. All right, so then I need a large cog wheel. That's gonna sit on top like so. So it needs at least 32, let's double that. To 64. Seems okay. That's gonna overstress. All right, so can I maybe then drop you to 32 and see what happens? So it's only overstressing this side, which is good. Oh, hey, there's a beat. Um, let me see if I can grab a fence and a lead real quick. And maybe a flower of some kind. All right, come here, bud. in captivity I don't know what he's gonna do we'll find out all right so the next big thing I guess is to increase the water and the heat I think primarily the heat so without this guy what are you spinning at see you okay right but I need to know what you're spinning at to see if you're generating power at all like enough rotational force for me to just potentially get power off of you rotating with enough speed so that is a no all right so it was at least 32 that I can throw this guy back up here and then you Over, overboard the system. All right, so, so for a fluid tank, uh, I 
actually think I need to look at the steam. I think I need to look at this guy. So he's going to tell me what all needs to go under. Steam tank can be placed fluid. Attach that, obviously. Alright, so start with uh, campfires, which is where I am now. I probably need to start switching into like blaze burners. Yeah. And blaze burners can get any fuel source. So that might be what we need to do. So we are out of power because it's raining, which means this gun is choking. But it's not raining because I, I made a bed and that gave me this rain shield. But now the problem is, is that it is still raining. Which means my output isn't great. So where? Okay, so you've got a little bit now. It's it's off and on. What can I do to help? Mainly just make it day. Which, luckily, I can do now. Alright, so once this guy fills back up... Hopefully we won't be... hurting too much... to be able to at least access some of this. Alright, so what was I in here for? That's the big question. Blaze burners. Okay. Alright, so an empty blaze burner. So I need four of those. One, two, three, four. So I need four blazes, which means I need four fell pumpkins. Which I need I need pumpkins for that, which I don't think I have. Or can I get pumpkin seeds? I could get that from a market. Alright, so to get a market, I know is a quest reward. Or I can just build one? Or do I need to build one and that's the quest reward? Like, that is the quest. I need to build one. Okay, so that just takes a piece of wool any log, any plank. So, but I think it needs to be red wool, so we might need to dye this. I think it's the other way around, or is it just one to one? All right, so red wool. Gets me a market. And I will place you here. And then some dude is just gonna like fall from the sky. Sure. Uh, pumpkin seeds, my good sir, needs one emerald. That is doable. And it will be a pleasure doing business with you. Good man. Okay. So I need some dirt so I can expand my farm really quick. I need to cut down some of these trees as well. So I've been trying, like I said in the last few episodes, trying to do this series without too much looking into how to do things. 
Uh, another part of that is also not wanting to do too much off camera, which I know I have been doing, which is why these episodes are just me trying and learning and figuring it out. Uh, because I just, I want to be able to just do it on my own. Like, I want to learn how to uh, play the game on my own. I want to learn how to, if I, if it's trial and error, it'll be trial and error on my own. Just doing stuff uh, without too much prior knowledge. I do have some prior knowledge because, I, like I said, I've watched other YouTubers in the past. Um, but I just, I want this to be a learning curve. I, I've, it's been a while since I've played Minecraft in general and it's, I've never played a pack like this. So I'm really just trying a little bit at a time to be able to just play the game. So I do need a hoe so I can retill the soil when it breaks. And then that can be made into more pumpkin seeds, which can then be made into more pumpkins. I don't know if it was just a fluke that I was able to like spam it into growing a pumpkin or if it just happened to do it at that right time. All right, so we just need to wait for those pumpkins. So I know something else that we might be able to jump into would be the phytogenic insulator, which I think helps me grow crops. At the expense of RF, however, all right, what, what was the reward for this guy? one emerald <laughs> the emerald that i use to buy the pumpkin seeds nice um so phytogenic insulator needs lumium gears which luckily we spent last episode making a little bit of lumium uh lumium gears it needs a redstone thingamajigger it needs a machine frame which luckily I've got most of the stuff that I need to make all of this stuff now. So a phytogenic insulator. And I'm just gonna put you right here. All right, so you are eventually going to get RF. Hopefully I didn't just break our entire system um you will eventually get redstone i think you also need water i was also trying to do another source of uh obsidian production back here but i don't think i'm gonna end up messing with that so i need my pickaxe again i need my crescent hammer you and I can just break you that probably just wasted a ton of RF do you do you hold your RF I don't know if you do you do not cool so that was 64,000 RF that I'm never gonna get back that's fine Fell pumpkins are what I need. Hopefully I have enough of the other stuff to make four of these. Uh, bones! Bones! Sorry. Bones are something I still need. Dang it. Um... There was that one thing I looked into a while back. This guy, the crushing macerator. Um, I'm just 
just need that and a flint block which I don't have any flint and I just used up all of my gravel or I actually I have some down at the bottom down here in one of these has gravel in it and then I can just rotate you to give me all of your gravel thank you so I just need to crush this into flint which who knows how long that'll take so we'll be back when we have some flint gets me sand and the potential of flint. So I looked it up the enrichment chamber. It looks like it gives me a stronger chance for flint. So I'm actually going to dump this in here. All right, that that looks like it's a 100% chance. Is it? In the enrichment chamber, yes, it looks like it is just a 100% chance to get flint. Awesome. So I think we needed like five more, so three, four, this will be five, and we also need to go and sleep to make sure that we have power, because you just died. I need a way, I need a battery, like I need a way to store power, or like a cell. I think a cell would work, so that way I'm, I'm charging the cell even when I'm not using energy, and then it can feed off of that power cell. You also need to be able to like produce more energy faster. But I can't put any upgrades in you, so take you out because I don't need any more of that. So we got our flint. I ended up putting it in the enrichment chamber because I learned that that gives me 100% flint 100% of the time. So then that gets us our crushing macerator. Hopefully, do you need RF as well? I'm assuming you do. Yes, you do. So we'll put you there. You will fill up with RF. And then bones... Bones. 
come from pretty much any raw meat. And because I put you there, now you're out of power. Uh, I should be able to just kill some animals. Just hear something saying like hey listen and there's some weird sound bites in this game I guess all right so you should be able to get me bones 25% chance actually it's a 60% chance it looks like to get five bones there we go And that gets me rotten flesh. Alright, so that should get me enough bones and rotten flesh to make my things once those come back up. To make the fell pumpkins. snack. I haven't eaten you yet, so we'll probably do that in a second once we get it. Okay. So you're back up. So I need a fell pumpkin times four. I need string. Which I have taught my system how to make. means I still do need pumpkins. None have grown. So can I buy pumpkins from the shop over here or do you just sell seeds? You just sell seeds. Alright, so we gotta wait for some pumpkins to grow while we wait to make blazes. All right, so I looked in it to make the temporal pouch and I'm pretty sure I have everything that I need for it. So I can grab the temporal pouch, two clocks, or an ender pouch, two clocks, and then a temporal pouch. So that speeds up time. Uh, so this item is subject to change in the future, currently works just like time in a bottle, so you stand here and you use, so slowly accumulates time while in a player's inventory, use it on a tick block to accelerate it using some of the stored time from the pouch. So yeah, so that basically, and I just come over here and I can like, This block has been accelerated to two times its speed. And I've now got 13 seconds worth of time. So yeah, I don't know how long it would take for something like this to grow. But it looks like it's not gonna take its time here. Alright, so the other thing I've remembered is that this guy over here needs water. But you're not even getting RF, are you? Why? You should be connected. Maybe not. Maybe because there was a chest there, I need to reconnect. But that's going to take more of my RF. I need to do it from the top. Otherwise, I'm gonna like knock and pick up my uh, generator. Okay. All right. So now you've got power. You just also need water. So 
I know that I said I'm done, but I know that pedestals has a way to pick up water. Because it has a pump upgrade, so that just needs an upgrade tool. Let me take all of these out. Because I can, like, do the thing where I flip them all around, I think. And then hopefully they stack better. Otherwise, I think it just counts it as one item. So why these won't stack? There they go. Okay. So I need my upgrade tool, and I need a piece of gold. And then I need that and a bucket. And that gets me a pump upgrade. And that's a quest. So, uh, pedestals. I should just need like two of them. Because I'm going to come down here to my source of water. And do you have to just be in the water? Do you have to be outside the water? Do you have to be on top of the water? We will find out. So it needs a work tool to say where to go. And then I'm assuming like a bucket. Work tool I am maybe needing to fix. Work tool. Because I think the way that I had it. Alright, so let's do work area cleared. So from you to you. Okay, so now it's pumping water. And it doesn't look like it needs a bucket on top, so I think all that I need to do is take this and put you up here. And then for inputting of water, we will say you are at the top and I need a linking tool, which I can't get to because it is nighttime.